First at five, children and guns. Two words that shouldn't go in the same sentence, but unfortunately they do. Tonight, Memphis police continue investigating a shooting between two toddlers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg is off tonight. It's a story we've been on top of since Thursday afternoon when officers say a three-year-old shot a two-year-old in southwest Memphis. Thankfully, the child is recovering. Our WREG Shea Simon is live with the latest on this investigation and possible charges against adults in the household. Shay. Yes, Stephanie, right now, no charges have been filed, but I did get a chance to speak with a neighbor today who tells us there are still so many questions in this case. A rainy evening of blue lights and police tape in Southwest Memphis left neighbors on Bell Haven with more questions than answers. How I get in the house and who brought it in the house? Come on now. A little two year old who can't go out and buy a gun off the street or from a gun shop. The same questions Memphis police are working to find out after a two year old boy was shot Thursday. A police report we tracked down says a woman who was inside the home told police she was in her room with her daughter when she heard what she thought was a gunshot. The woman told police the man who was supposed to be watching the two young boys knocked on her door and told her the three year old shot the two year old in the arm. They had all their sections blocked out. I said, what's going on? But when I heard about it, out my heart was sad. It was, it really was. Now MPD is working to find the man who reportedly drove off the scene before officers arrived. The two-year-old boy was rushed to La Bonner Children's Hospital, the same place a two-year-old was rushed just two weeks ago after accidentally shooting himself in the face with an unsecured gun. I reached out to La Bonner and they tell us as of July, they have treated at least 17 children under the age of five after being shot this year. I hate it happened and say it happened. Now, it is important to remind everyone, if you live in Shelby County, you are able to receive a free gun lock, absolutely no charge. Thankfully, at last check, that boy is in none critical condition. Live tonight in Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3.